Have you ever thought about what goes on behind the scenes of Clint Eastwood's incredible career? We all know him as a legendary actor and filmmaker, but his off-screen life is filled with surprising luxury, smart investments, and a lifestyle that most people never even imagine. Today, we're diving deep into the lesser-known, secretly expensive world of Clint Eastwood. How did he quietly amass such a fortune and what did he choose to spend it on? So guys, quickly join our YouTube channel! Few names evoke the timeless charm and rugged allure of American cinema like Clint Eastwood. Over a career that spans more than six decades, Eastwood has become a symbol of the quintessential American leading man and a multi-talented filmmaker. His journey from a television cowboy to a world-renowned actor, director, and business mogul has solidified his status as one of Hollywood's most enduring icons. With a career that has consistently thrived both in front of and behind the camera, Eastwood's wealth is not only a testament to his work ethic, but also to his keen investments and entrepreneurial endeavors. The acting career that made him a star Clint Eastwood's Hollywood journey began with modest roles in the 1950s, but it was the Western television series Rawhide 1959-1965 that first put him on the map. However, it was his role as the Man With No Name in Sergio Leone's Dollars trilogy in the mid-1960s that catapulted Eastwood to international fame. During the 1970s and 1980s, Eastwood took on another defining role as Dirty Harry Callahan in the Dirty Harry series. The anti-hero cop became one of the most popular characters in film history, further cementing Eastwood's reputation as a leading man. In total, Eastwood has appeared in over 60 films, delivering a range of performances that have spanned numerous genres, from action and westerns to romance and drama. One of his most commercially successful films was Every Which Way But Loose, 1978, an adventure comedy featuring Eastwood in an unlikely role alongside an orangutan. The film became a massive hit and was followed by a successful sequel, Any Which Way You Can, 1980. A visionary director. Beyond acting, Eastwood's talents as a director have played a significant role in his success. Since the late 1960s, he has directed over 30 films, many of which have been critically acclaimed. Two of his most iconic directorial works, Unforgiven 1992 and Million Dollar Baby 2004, earned him Academy Awards for Best Director and Best Picture. These films demonstrated Eastwood's ability to explore complex moral themes with a gritty realism that resonated with audiences. Eastwood has also directed several films in which he did not star, including the highly praised Mystic River 2003, Letters from Iwo Jima 2006, and American Sniper 2014. His versatile filmmaking has earned him four Academy Awards and four Golden Globe Awards, proving that his talents extend far beyond acting. Do you think Eastwood's wealth comes more from his acting, directing, or business ventures? Share your take in the comments section. Real Estate Empire One of the cornerstones of Clint Eastwood's wealth is his impressive real estate portfolio. Eastwood has invested heavily in properties across California, most notably in Carmel-by-the-Sea, where he served as mayor from 1986 to 1988. Among his prized possessions is a 15,000-square-foot estate in Carmel that cost him $20 million to build. He also owns several other properties, including a sprawling ranch in Bernie, California, and homes in Bel Air and Sun Valley, Idaho. His 1.5-acre oceanfront property in Maui further adds to his enviable collection of real estate. One of his most notable developments is Tahama, a private community and country club nestled in the hills above Carmel and Monterey Bay. Tahama spans over 2,000 acres, of which only 300 acres have been developed, preserving more than 85% of the land for nature. The exclusive development features just 90 home sites, with lots selling for as much as $6,250,000. Eastwood's own mansion, built on a 14-acre plot, is a testament to his vision of luxury and sustainability. If ever listed, the mansion is expected to fetch between $15 million and $20 million. If you could own one of Clint Eastwood's luxurious properties, which one would it be? Drop your choice in the comments below. A Legendary Investment of Pebble Beach In the late 1990s, Eastwood made one of his most successful investments when he joined forces with Peter Uberoth and Richard Ferris to purchase the famed Pebble Beach Golf Links. Despite their offer being lower than rival bids, Eastwood's popularity in Japan helped secure the deal for $820 million. Two decades later, the value of their investment had tripled, making Pebble, 
each one of Eastwood's most lucrative ventures. The group's ownership extended beyond the golf course itself to include prestigious hotels, spas, and restaurants in the Pebble Beach area, further increasing the value of their stake. This investment is often cited as one of Eastwood's most strategic financial moves, showcasing his business acumen beyond the entertainment industry. Did you know Clint Eastwood was involved in major real estate and business ventures before this video? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Malpaso Productions Clint Eastwood's entrepreneurial spirit is perhaps best exemplified by the founding of Malpaso Productions in 1967. Established with earnings from his work on the Dollars Trilogy, Malpaso has produced nearly all of Eastwood's films since then. This gives Eastwood not only creative control over his projects, but also a significant share of the profits. The company's name, derived from Malpaso Creek on his property in California, has become synonymous with Eastwood's brand of gritty, no-nonsense filmmaking. Malpaso's success can be attributed to Eastwood's keen understanding of storytelling and his ability to balance commercial appeal with artistic integrity. Films such as Unforgiven, Million Dollar Baby, Mystic River, and American Sniper have not only garnered critical acclaim, but also performed exceptionally well at the box office. As a result, Malpaso has been a key contributor to Eastwood's fortune, allowing him to reap the benefits of his hard work both in front of and behind the camera. A love for classic and unique automobiles. Clint Eastwood's car collection is as iconic and eclectic as the man himself, featuring a blend of American muscle cars, classic European sports cars, and unique vintage automobiles. One of the highlights of his collection is the 1977 Pontiac Trans Am, a black and gold muscle car that's famous for its powerful presence, much like the man behind the wheel. This car, similar to one owned by his friend Burt Reynolds, represents the bold and rugged persona Eastwood embodies on screen. Another standout is his 1966 Ferrari 275 GTB, which reportedly sealed his decision to star in The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. The legend goes that Eastwood, having turned down multiple offers for the role, was finally enticed by the promise of this rare, beautiful Italian sports car straight from the factory, a testament to his appreciation for fine craftsmanship. Eastwood's collection also includes some unexpected gems, like the 1992 GMC Typhoon, a fast, factory-modified American SUV from the early 90s. It's an unusual choice, but it reflects Eastwood's tendency to value performance and uniqueness over trendiness. He also owns a classic 1955 Cadillac Eldorado Series 62 convertible, which he bought shortly after marrying his first wife, Maggie Johnson. This luxurious, spacious convertible speaks to Eastwood's love for grand American cars. The 1972 Gran Torino Sport, famously featured in his film Gran Torino, now sits proudly in his garage. Purchased by the film's producers from eBay, it has become one of Eastwood's most recognizable vehicles. His collection wouldn't be complete without a nod to his California roots, represented by his 1932 Ford Roadster, a hot rod that he dreamed of owning as a young man. His taste for European elegance shines through in his 1960 Jaguar XK150 Roadster and 1976 Ferrari 365 GT4 Berlinetta Boxer, both rare and highly coveted models. The 1955 Austin Healey 100M and 1966 Morris Mini Countryman Cooper S, while more modest, reflect his love for tight-handling British cars. Rounding out the collection is his 1937 Lincoln K-Series Convertible, a classic ride featured in his film Honky Tonk Man, which he loved so much he bought one just like it after filming Wrapped. Eastwood's car collection mirrors his personality, powerful, timeless, and full of surprises. Out of all his classic cars, which one would you want to take for a spin? Tell me your favorite in the comments. Investments in Stocks and Private Equity Clint Eastwood has diversified his wealth by making shrewd investments in the stock market and private equity. Reports suggest that he has invested a significant portion of his fortune around 20% in high-profile companies. These include tech giants like Apple and Alphabet, as well as retail behemoth Walmart. His portfolio also extends to energy stocks like ExxonMobil and the financial sector with investments in companies like MasterCard. Were you surprised by how much Clint Eastwood has invested in stocks and businesses? Let's talk about it in the comments. Brand Endorsements and Commercial Ventures in addition to his earnings from films, directing, and investments, Eastwood has also profited from several lucrative brand endorsements. Over the years, he has lent his iconic image to brands such as Chrysler, Wrangler Jeans, and Coors Beer. These endorsements have added millions to his fortune, 
capitalizing on his rugged persona and strong connection with American culture. Eastwood's endorsement of Chrysler, particularly in a memorable Super Bowl commercial, helped boost the company's sales while reinforcing his status as an American icon. His work with Wrangler jeans also resonated with consumers, aligning the brand with the same toughness and reliability that Eastwood has come to represent. A lasting legacy. Clint Eastwood's fortune, estimated at $375 million, is a reflection of his decades-long dedication to his craft, combined with astute business decisions and investments. From his acting and directing career to his ventures in real estate, private equity, and commercial endorsements, Eastwood has created a multifaceted empire that extends far beyond Hollywood. His life proves that true power doesn't always have to be flashy. It can be quiet, calculated, and enduring. What's the most surprising thing you've watched about Clint Eastwood's life today? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this glimpse into Clint Eastwood's world, make sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more deep dives into the lives of your favorite stars. Thanks for watching.